And this is Nadia with scubadiverlife.com and right now we're on board the Aranui in Indonesia and right behind me we have the Komodo Islands. Right now we're about to go check out the Komodo Dragons. I'm really excited about it because apparently there are only 5,000 left in the world. After that we're going to go drift diving which is supposed to be spectacular. On this cruise we went to Komodo National Park and we went to see the Komodo dragons. Every cruise that we do to Komodo National Park we go and see the dragons. The best thing is it's the only place in the whole world that you can see Komodo dragons. to uh, make sure there's nothing swinging because the dragons are really sensitive. So when we're on the island you have to be careful because Komodo dragons are actually wild animals. Actually they can run very fast, faster than you. Just everyone has to remember that it is a, still a wild animal. So right now, uh, there's a Komodo dragon right beside me. Isn't it beautiful? We have lots of guests that come on this cruise actually only to see the dragons. Obviously the diving is fantastic as well, but some people it's a lifetime thing to go and see Komodo dragons in the wild. The summer's breeze still can hook my mind Yet it drags me back five years Carried to The diving in Komodo National Park is sometimes overlooked by divers but actually it's some of the best diving in the world. The biodiversity of things that you can see in Komodo National Park is unbelievable. I follow the The marine life that we get to see in Komodo National Park is also unbelievable. Not just the diversity of the different dive sites, but the things we can see. We see sharks, we've got some excellent manta dives. We have big fish, small fish, lots of really good macro diving in Komodo. People don't realise the muck diving is actually really top class. Uh, Wonderpus mimic, hairy frogfish, bobbit worms on the night dive. The, the list goes on. It's full of amazing things to see. Some favourite dives in the National Park is Castle Rock and Crystal Rock. You get to see lots of fish action, it's blue water, it's warm. Uh, normally we dive down, take a hook, hook on and then you just watch the show. Quite often at Castle Rock we get to hear the fish boom, what they call the fish boom. That's when there's just thousands and thousands of fish and they all move at once because there's a big fish chasing them. And it's unbelievable, you actually can hear the sound of the fish moving in the water. If you come diving on Aranui, you should expect luxury, top class service. And our, one of our routes during the summer months is Komodo National Park. Sometimes we leave from Bali or you can do a Komodo focus where we'll stay generally in the Komodo National Park for the whole cruise. But all of the cruises in that area are just wonderful, so come and join us. We were